So, uh, before my younger brother was born, so I was the youngest child at the time. It was me and my older sister, and she used to always, uh, you know, do things like that your parents wouldn't agree on, and then blame it on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was a tattle. Yeah. So a I, was the, I was the younger kid, and I would always get in trouble. And I'm very nice. So if someone was like, "Call me." Why the fuck did you do that? I'd be like, "Whatever." Type of thing, you know. Uh-huh. So I just took it. Anyway, long story short, I'm at the table. My mom's cooking dinner. She's making food. My sister's in a room. I'm sick. I've been sick for a couple weeks, mm-hmm. right? Mom's making dinner, and she's like, you know what, Kobe? Yeah, you can have this to eat, some soup, you know, because you're not going to eat dinner with us because you're sick. I'm at the table. I'm eating, and uh, I dropped my silverware under the table, right? And I was feeling bad, and my mom was cooking, so she was busy, and she was like, Chelsea, you yelled at my sister to come in and get the silverware. So she comes in, gets down under the table, kitchen table, and grabs a fork. Again, I wasn't feeling well, so mm-hmm. as... My sister is underneath of the table. I had to throw up. <laughs> Long story short, I vomited out? all over my sister's head, all in her hair. Purpose, everywhere. Purpose. That was bro. on purpose. I don't. I guess it was. Was but it or no? Wait, I don't I think it. Was. it I don't know. It, a long time ago. I, it was a long time ago. You seem very confused She's about this. Is, just, is she watching this? Uh, is, is, she'll tell you. So today. your sister tattling on you for. Ten years. I guess it came. You back peaked on her once, and now you guys are even. Yeah, it seems a little bit like you. Like there's a little bit. Of we a were plan always there. back and forth, and, and to give you like a uh, understanding of how my mom was, there was one time we were arguing. <laughs> right, me and my sister were arguing, and uh, we used to live not on a main street, but like you could be on our front porch and see a street where cars would regularly come mm-hmm. down, and kind of like right here. Um, and she, whenever we get in trouble, she put us on the front porch and made us hug each other. For like forty five minutes. Oh, so like so when you guys are in trouble, you shoot. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's and a they great would get a, they punishment. Would get a kick out of it. They would love hug it out. Awesome. So we're just sitting the whole man, time, right? You, like man, like whatever, like hugging, talking don't, in each other's ears. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Hug it up, out. Do you end? Okay, so when that as a punishment, did it work by the end that you guys were nice to each other, or yeah. were you mad the whole time? I mean, and it never back happened. then at that age, you know, when you get that kind of. I'm against everybody type of thing in your mindset. You kind of fight it for the longest, but 30, 45 minutes, mm-hmm. you break down. You do. And it's just like, I don't even know why we're arguing type of thing. Okay. It definitely made our relationship closer, I would say. Hug it out yeah. while you're mad? In front of the traffic. Just the bad in front thing. of everybody. Like on the porch. By. Yeah, so just stand there. Like, <laughs> Oh, God. That's a great punishment, actually. That's, that's Another pretty good. One of our I've punishments, never heard that though, one. is we had a, um, remember the garden I was telling you about in mm-hmm. our backyard? There was a broken down truck and since it was there, it was on blocks and grass wouldn't grow around it. So it would be like a dirt area mm-hmm. with rocks. So if we got in trouble, they would give us a um, like a sandcastle bucket for the beach and a little garden shovel. And so you go outside, fill that bucket up with rocks, no dirt, just rocks only from around that patch. And when you're done, bring it to us. They would bring it to you after like an hour and a half that you've been out there digging rocks and walk over there and dump them right back out. There's a movie. There's a movie. And I was like, man, fuck everybody in this <laughs> bitch. <laughs> the movie Holes is kind of yes. like you. I'm like, man, wow. Oh, holes, I got holes, Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. That shit did some shit to me, though. Watching that as a kid, I'm like, man. Of course. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm too tired to dig, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. That's too damn <laughs> on, on that topic, before we go to our questions, Eric, do you have any, what was your, would you say, worst punishment as a kid? Um, oh my gosh, my parents took away my Game Boy. I had Pokemon Yellow, the one with the Pikachu on it. They would take that away. Uh, what else? I remember being grounded. Uh, gosh. Any, any kind of crazy one that they did to you? Not. I'm sh- I'm showing off right now. I was not a bad kid. I was probably only grounded two or three times. We didn't get grounded, but uh, so my my you got whooped though, right? Yeah. So my brother's dad was very country and redneck and had uh, like deer on the walls and shit that he had killed. And on top of the one right beside the kitchen door, there was uh, it was a deer with antlers, and he had a uh, piece of flooring that we had bought and like bamboo flooring and he wrapped it in camouflage duct tape and wrote on it in a sharpie fanny getter and leave it right, uh, on, right on top of the antlers so anytime you did anything oh man that's such a male thing to do yeah right? i mean oh uh, yeah so so yeah i got i got wind spoon uh, yeah, tw- 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 twice I, I i can't there weren't many times where i would turn up like that but i just looking, actually i just didn't get caught and seeing i was people, a bad kid just didn't get caught so. seeing people that are like oh parents shouldn't be able to whoop their kids looking back would you change it Cause I feel like it, it, depend, kinda, it depends. It depends. So, so it, it's, ta- it's taken way too far all the time. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, like, sure. like, oh, you got to see sure. on your report card. Let's yeah. get the wind spoon. No, yeah, so you can't I think, do that shit. So I think far. there's a level because yeah. 
I was whooped. And I was Beats whooped like head. belt, picked up, thrown across anything, the room. I was whooped. To Back to your parents again. But and, uh, uh, yes, no, 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 and, no. I, and I had to get like... <laughs> <laughs> not Sorry, mom podcast. and dad. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Sorry. But no, um, but no, but I also... You made me peel bark from a, a branch and whip me with that branch. That's wild. That's that fucking one crazy. That wild. You know what I mean? Like, so I could say there are... I don't really... I know that it gave me character. Yeah. But it also made me, the whole time growing up, I was like, I'm never going to be like that. Yeah. I did have to spank my child a couple of times, and I hated it after. Of and course. I did feel like, what did it accomplish other than make him afraid of me? You know what I mean? Like, it didn't really accomplish much. And so I do yeah. feel like it's kind of hard because I'm not like, you know, you shouldn't do Because you never know what, you know, I don't know. It's really it's really a tough situation because like I, I was spanked. It's a fine there's, line. It's a fine line. There's Why? comments on TikTok I see people go in and they're they cannot believe people hit their own kids. 